Hello guys, as you may know, Debian just got released and it's awesome, but with a little time, all the packages are gonna get really old and if you are like me and you want a little bit more up to date packages and you wanna keep using Debian, you might want to consider switching to one of the Debian branches like Debian testing or Debian sit or unstable and in this video I'm gonna try and show you a couple of ways how to how you can do that so let's go so the first way is if you're starting from scratch all you need to do is download this mini ISO which is just a bootable ISO and I'm gonna show you how you can go through the install and install directly Debian testing or Debian unstable or SID. So first uh, just to make sure I'm gonna leave all of the commands I'm using in this video in the comments below or in the description of this video as well as this address right here because it's <laughs> it's kind of hard to find you may already know about the Debian's website and how hard it is to find the download or the correct download for the Debian ISO so anyway uh, this is what you need to do just click on it and it's gonna start it's gonna start downloading which is gonna be pretty quick as you may see I already downloaded it and it's only six, yeah, 62 megabytes as I said this is just a bootable ISO and I will show you why in a minute ok as you can see I have prepared a virtual machine for this install and let's go through it really quickly it's pretty much the same as the regular Debian 12 install with the little differences which I'm gonna show you right now. First on this screen just go to the advanced options, go to the expert install, choose your language, English is correct, United States, ok. I don't need another locale. Go for the configure the keyboard. American English is correct. Okay, USB it's right. Configure the network. This is all the same so far. I'm gonna leave the host name as Debian. I don't need domain name. The mirror is pretty clear. I don't need proxy either. Okay, and now this is the very important a different part from the regular Debian install. So here you can choose if you want to go for the regular stable or bookworm release if you wanna go for the testing or the new tricksy release or the unstable and sit if you are feel really really comfortable with configuring and fixing your system I'm not saying it's gonna break that often but it's quite possible with the unstable release so just for the sake of this video I'm gonna go with sit just click enter download all the tower if you need anything from here just choose it I don't need it this is a virtual machine Ok, set up a users. Now this part it's really interesting and important. It says if you want to set up a root user 
to log in with. So if you want to use the sudo root login, you can click yes here. But then when you create your user account, you need to manually get it to work with sudo, which is getting it into the sudo group, which I'm not big fan of. So I'm gonna show you. Just go to no. And now when you create your username, let's say VB, VB again. Now you enter your password. Really strong and complicated password. Now when you create this user without the sudo login user, you can by default use sudo for updating, installing and whatever. You don't need to get your user into the sudo group. I just feel I needed to mention this because it's quite, <laughs> quite, uh, it's kind of complicated with Debian. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. The NTP, okay, it's turn, you take the disk. From now on, the installation should be pretty the same as the regular install of Debian. I'm not gonna go all the way to the end, doesn't really matter or well, it's not the point of this video. Okay, install the base system. So this may take a couple of minutes. I'm gonna pause the video here and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, now the install wants us to select a kernel version that we want to use. As you see, it's the 6.3, which is pretty recent. And I like that. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. All right, the base install is done. Let's continue, configure the package manager. And now this is new for Debian, as you may know. Now Debian finally decided to include the non-free firmware. And if you choose to the non-free software, this is great. Enable the soft source repository in apt. Okay, of course. Select install software. No automatic updates, of course. I want to be in charge of updating my system my, on my own. No, this is a VM. I'm not going to participate in the package usage survey. And here you choose what kind of desktop environment would you like. I'm going to change something different. Let's go with Cinnamon. Yeah, why not? Just click continue. And you need to install almost 1600 packages. I'm not gonna wait to the end. Doesn't really matter. You already seen, I believe, all the installs of Debian. I'm gonna pause the video here and we're gonna come back with the easiest in my opinion way to transfer your Debian existing Debian install to the testing or unstable. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Okay, and we are back on my own hardware. This is my laptop, my home laptop, and it's running Debian. I'll show you in a second. Okay, 
nothing special here, Debian 12 bookworm and the GNOME version is 43.4 which is, yeah it's okay. Now I'm gonna show you in my opinion the next or little bit easier way to transfer your install. So there used to be a way if you have the Synaptic Package Manager Just navigate to the settings and the repositories. There used to be a, an apt sources list here, but I don't know for some reason I can't find it or they removed it. I'm not sure why or what happened here, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you how to do it through the terminal. I'm sure you're not scared of the terminal. Uh, okay, so open the terminal. And all you need to do is just enter sudo. I'm gonna go with nano for text. Here, navigate to the Etsy apt sources dot list. Enter your password here, and it's gonna and it's gonna open this page. Now. All you have to do here is just change the name bookworm which is the regular Debian current and change it to the testing everywhere you see bookworm just delete it and write down testing Okay, just before I save the file, I'm gonna show you something. If you navigate another, if you open another terminal, come on, it's not that hard, okay. Just update your system, enter your password. And as you can see here the sources are still bookworm and there is no updates and the kernel version here is 6.1. After we save this file with control O, close it and just sudo apt update, there should be a huge update. Let's see. Alright, now sudo apt full dash upgrade and as you can see there is a huge list of updates. I'm gonna hit enter and wait for the install to finish. I'll see you in a second. I'm gonna pause the video here. Alright, and Updating of the system is already done. Now all you have to do is just reboot your system. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause the video again here and I'll come back when the reboot is done. Okay guys, we are back after the reboot. Let's check the terminal again. We should be running, oops. We should be running the kernel 6.3 if I can type correctly. What the hell? 
Here we go. <laughs> oh well. So that's all for today. I just hope you enjoyed this video or at least it's a little bit helpful for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below on the comment section. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.